system is stealth across Arizona, and that will be bringing us uh, chances for a wintry mix heading into tomorrow. We'll talk about that timing here in just a second. Dual Doppler radar, generally quiet. Still tracking just a few stray snow flurries. Western Payne County right around Stillwater back towards Perry. Again, some of these could possibly affect Pawnee County, Osage County this morning, but a lot of this uh, not going to amount to hardly anything. Temperatures out there this morning, bone chilling, cold in the teens and the 20s for us. Future track shows quite a bit of sunshine the first half of the day, and then we'll start to see some high clouds trickle in during the afternoon, about 40 in town. 43 McAllister today, chilly afternoon around Grand Lake, Grove 38, 34 today in Coffeyville. Heading into tomorrow morning, another very cold start to our day lower to upper 20s and also tomorrow there's going to be uh, chances for some rain, sleet, freezing rain and snow. So yeah, just a whole mix of wintry precipitation. Six o'clock in the morning, this is depicting a little bit of a wintry mix of some sleet and light snow right across the I-40 corridor. It's going to be moving from south to north. So by about 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, yeah, just in time heading off to work and school could start to see some slick spots develop with that mix of some sleet and some light snow. The uh, purple color there is the mix of some sleet and freezing rain. So we will see again just uh, all sorts of winter precipitation tomorrow afternoon. The green is the rain. Again, the blue is the uh, light snow and any type of accumulation should stay up across Osage County and Pawnee County in the order of about one to two inches. That could even be up towards Coffeyville. And again, it's just going to depend on how fa fast those temperatures drop to see uh, how fast that changeover takes place tomorrow and then heading into tomorrow afternoon. Still more light snow and sleet and that should begin to push out by tomorrow evening. But no doubt some impacts on travel for us mainly tomorrow by midday into the afternoon. We get a little bit better for Wednesday, upper 40s, 50s for Thursday. That's the best day of the work week. Heading into the weekend, not snow, but maybe some springtime showers and storms for Saturday in the 60s and then dry for Sunday as temperatures are going to be into the middle 